right hey youtube it's jasmine again i am going to be doing the elf haul review all the stuff i got from elf all the stuff that i got from um walmart the hard candy lipstick i got from walmart the nyc and the jesse's girls that i got from um rite aid and the sally's girls eyeshadows that i got from sally's and all right so let me just show you first my ghetto version of a tripod all right here we go you see that yeah my proactive is holding my camera up pretty intelligent right thanks all right so let's start with the eyeshadow brushes for elf all right this is the eyeshadow brush which i think is pretty see that okay I think it's good because it does pick up a lot of color it's kind of shorter than what I thought it was gonna be you see how small that is um, yeah about to my thumb to my index finger I thought it was gonna be way bigger than this but small but it's okay it, I think it's good if you're on a budget and you cannot afford to get Mac brushes Sephora brushes Sigma brushes these are pretty good for a dollar I think it works good um, the next one is the blending brush all right now to me, this kind of reminds me of the Essence of Beauty. It's a little fatter. This is the Essence of Beauty brush. All right. It's a little... If you can see that. Okay. It's a little smaller. Not by that much. But this is the Essence of Beauty, and that's the e.l.f. brush. It's a little smaller. It doesn't work for me too well. I'm not saying it won't work for you guys that have, like, the smaller eyes. But I have pretty, you know, pretty big eyes, if you saw in my other video. But... So, it doesn't really do much. So, I have this one from, um... Walmart, which was like three bucks, and this one I think works better for me as a blending brush because it's bigger. So I have this one, and then I have it, it's like dual it's dual ended, so it has two sides. It has this one, and then it has like a smaller one. If you can see that, it's the stomp smaller one, and then there's the bigger one, and that one works better for me. But this is good if you have smaller eyes, and I think if you see that it has been bent so much, so it's a little kind of dense so I think that's good all right now I want to show you how I got my foundation brush from elf all right so when I took out the package it was like this you see that and I love how it just pops right off you see that it just pops right off so I don't you know if you tighten it up, I type I tightened it up so it won't look it doesn't like budge or anything so it's good um, I haven't used it because I already have a foundation brush, which is this one, and it's it's like thicker, so I feel like it's a little bit better for foundation as opposed to this one's kind of, it's kind of thin. If you can see that, that's thin, and then see, this one's a little thicker. Actually, I think it's thinner. Whatever, I haven't used this one yet, so I can't really tell you. Um. Then we have the all over face brush, which I love. I think it's oh yeah, it's dirty, so ignore the powder that's falling out of it. But this is my face brush. I like I like it. I like it. I love this one. I give this one, I'll say like a 4 out of 5. Because I feel like it's too fluffy. But I like it. That's a good brush for a dollar. This is the uh, Professional Bronzing Brush. And it's like, um, what do you call that? Oh, whatever. But yeah, this is good for contouring. I don't use it too much on my on my cheeks. I use this more for just contouring. So it's pretty good for that. And it's a dollar, so hey. Can't really complain too much. I think it's okay. Alright, then we're going to talk about the e.l.f. eye primer. I used this today. So I haven't checked my makeup. We're going to look right now together. Okay, so. You can see that? doesn't look like it's creasing so yeah it doesn't look like it's creasing so I think it's pretty good if you can see that okay so I don't think it's that bad I think it works I like it three bucks you cannot go wrong with this it's from the studio line obviously but it's good so you guys should definitely try that out all right now we have the quads all right so I'm going to swatch these for you. And the first one is going to be Nymph, Nymph Dream. Alright. So there's a gold. A bronzy kind of goldish color. Then there's like a teal green. 
and then there's like a darker muddy kind of green color so there's the gold if you can see that let me just block the light from it all right it's the gold there's the bronzy gold there's the teal and there is the greenish bronzy color i if you can see that they're pretty good they're pretty pigmented i don't know if i can but when you swatch it on your hand it's, it's not yeah you know what it's kind of good if you can see that you can see that yeah there you go i think they're pretty pigmented for a dollar okay they're pretty pigmented and that was um nymph dreams and this was only a dollar from Elf, so i think that's pretty good then the next one is gonna be pretty in pink okay let me see i have to like clean my hands now all right so we're gonna do is a white highlight color a baby pink color um a burgundy kind of pink color with little glitters in it and then a lighter pink that has glitters in it so this is what they look like on my fingers there's the highlight white the pink the uh darker pink with glitters in it and then the lighter pink so let's swatch these two all right and that's what it looks like if you can see that and i think those are pretty pigmented for a dollar so you guys should definitely try those out that was pretty in pink and then the next one is teal dream all right so teal dream has a white highlight color um a grayish greenish color a bluish color and another yeah pretty much the same teal green as the other one okay so there they are on my fingers and then i'm gonna swatch them okay this one's not so pigmented the only one that's pig th that are really pigmented are the blue the blue and the, the teal color if you can see that the other two are not so pigmented but it's good for a dollar you can't really complain for a dollar all right and by the way just so you guys know all right so this look that i have on today smoky little grayish kind of look with some pale lips all right so i used for my eyes i used um envy from sally's girl and the lipstick was the hard candies fire alarm let me tell you first of all i love this lipstick this lipstick is awesome for six bucks it cannot go wrong and i love it i love the color uh it's, it goes great with, for dramatic eyes if you want a nude lip for dramatic eyes definitely go all right sorry people my camera just cut off because i don't have enough memory on my memory card so i'm just gonna end this now um i'm pretty sh pretty sure i gave you like 90 percent of the stuff that i have um so yeah that was my review i hope you guys liked it um just leave your comments down below make sure you subscribe up above up there somewhere or whatever it's up there somewhere um make sure you subscribe comment below rate below thumbs up people thumbs up and um just let me know what you guys think and if you guys want me to do any tutorials or any more reviews on the sally girls swatches and stuff on the sally girl and the big blushes just uh, on the big blushes the big the big shadows and just let me know so thanks a lot guys bye all right, so I'm back. I just wanted to say thank you to Anchi Suckers for doing this contest because I won. Woohoo! So, <laughs> thanks a lot, Angie. Bye.